I want to know how many people out there who truly stand for truth, right, uh, have been called crazy, insane, you know, or, um, you know, or mentally ill all their lives, like me. I want to, I want to know um, how many out, out there who, who have had this. I'm going to ask some questions. Are we really insane? Are we really crazy? I'm going to ask some questions to figure this out. Uh, is it insane? Remember, I'm telling. I'm going to talk from my own personal experience on things, but this can apply to other people as well. Is it insane? Are, are we crazy for being mad when we know that everyone around us is pretty much lying to us about things? Um, or is it insane that people have to lie to you out of usually at own their own fear, their misjudgments? Or their assumptions. Is which one's insane? Is it insane to have to repeat yourself or feel like you have to repeat yourself all the time because you weren't you, you feel like you weren't really heard? Or is it insane that the people who are listening actually hear you but just don't want to acknowledge what you're saying? Because it might, you know, affect their image or it might affect their you know their their own belief systems, or whatever. Which one's more insane, you know? What's more insane? Um, not knowing that you can't really do the spiritual work that you want to do, like put out like some serious knowledge for people on your own channel, because you know you only have 50 subscribers. And you know that if any person that has a larger subscriber count than you can easily steal your idea, claim it as their own, give it to their audience. And because of that number, because of those number of people, they're going to believe them over you. There's going to be no proof that you were the one who took the, the time. It could have taken your entire life to figure something out about people, about some sort of knowledge and psychology. And so it's insane that, that you really you really prefer to work one on one with people because it kind of filters out, you know, who gets what. Because, you know, maybe you want to be rewarded for for all of that. Maybe you want to you you maybe you value yourself enough to want to be giving that to the right people. You know? Or is it insane the fact that there are people who will do that? Because, it, again, it, it benefits them. And they don't care uh, that they weren't the ones creating that. In fact, they're, most of these you know, people, you know, they, they, they get their subscribers. They get their large amount of subscribers. In, in not all cases, but in a lot of cases. By making videos about things that nobody could really prove. Philosophical ideas. Right? Abstract type of thinking. And yet people, as long as people believe it, as long as it's making money... YouTube will uh, will promote those things that get the most attraction. And it also makes these people feel like they're gods when they're really not. Who's more insane? The one who realizes all that shit? The one's doing it. Who's more insane? Misses. Who's more insane? Somebody who can think for themselves? Or some or people who feel like they need their audience or their group or their or their people to validate their own points? You know, these people can't distinguish between support and validation. Support is, I may not agree with you on something, like tarot card reading stuff. There'd be people that maybe do tarot card readings, and maybe they've helped me in other areas. I may not agree with you, but I, I support you. But for me to validate you means I, I have to agree with everything you have to say. There's a difference between support and validation. But yet, who's, in, who's more insane? Somebody who truly wants support and not validation? That not necessarily validation? In other words, you don't have to agree with me for me to feel like I, I, I have a point? <laughs> or people who, again, who feel like they have to have all these different people working behind the scenes? Who's more insane? Who's more mentally ill? Who's more mentally ill? Well, someone who's willing, wanting to tell the truth on things? 
or someone or people who are telling the person who's telling the truth that they're the problem. They're the problem because they're, they're telling too much of it. They're the problem because they're, they're not saying it in a, in, a, in a way that makes me feel good or makes me you know, feel a certain way. Who's more insane? Somebody who just wants to wake people up to, to, to different ways of thinking? Or someone who wants to remain the same with types of things that don't even really work and more than likely not even knowledgeable that it doesn't? Who's more insane? Someone who, who constantly mentions people in third world countries suffering, um, acknowledging a human being who's in trouble, or someone who, again, uses abstract thinking to then justify ignoring uh, those people in those different countries because of some religious belief system that, oh, they were, they came down here and this is what they chose. They signed a soul contract, right? Is it more than saying somebody that can separate a belief system from what they actually know and at least know that what we do here on earth is really should be based on knowledge and not belief systems? A belief system is an assumption and, you know, whatever it is that we assume, you know, it can lead to knowledge, but until then it's always just an assumption. But those assumptions can negatively affect the way we see things. But is it really insane, more insane? Is a person more insane for realizing this and talking about it? Or, again, is it, is it more insane that people want to pay attention to, you know, ASMR shit? Some, some grown-ass adult making random no noises to grown-ass adults. <laughs> What's more insane? Uh, people reacting to, to videos of people who took the time to, you know, to create, you know, maybe even real entertainment, real content. And they get more views and more support for just re reacting to something. But then again, somebody here is, is taking the time to to share what they know and prove, prove some points. Who's more insane? Who's more insane? Uh, someone who does not feel to constantly need to use uh, other people's quotes, uh, other other pictures or celebrities' quotes or whatever to validate a point, but is able to do it on their own. Who's more insane? Who's more crazy? Who's more, you know, not willing to 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 see things for what they are? Somebody who truly thinks about things or somebody who's always relying on what somebody else said? I'm just asking. Who is more insane? Who's more crazy? Somebody who understands that learning from your own life experience is is the way to know what you should do, what you should not do in life by actual learning, by living and experiencing things, or somebody who puts their faith, their faith, their trust, their even their expectations on another human being who is either flipping cards or giving their interpretation about what's going on in the sky. Is it more insane that somebody's willing to just live life and learn? Or somebody's willing to, to give that power away to somebody else that they don't even know? And by the way, there are more people out there doing the same thing who have various different opinions on things. And not one of those opinions is really going to tell you the truth because everyone sees differently. Is it more insane for somebody to think for themselves that way than to trust other people? I'm just curious. Is it more insane that somebody has finally had it up to here and is not willing to take any more bullshit anymore and is willing is willing to come out and say what needs to be said despite who pisses who gets pissed off or who gets their feelings hurt over something that it has no ill intention at all? Or is it more insane that you can't do that? Again, without people taking everything you say and do out of context. I am just curious. Is it more insane that I'm putting this video out there knowing that I'm not going to get what everyone else wants? The likes, 
the comments, the praise. Is it more insane that I'm doing that? Or is it more insane that I'm doing that because I know it is this the right thing that I right thing to do? So this is how I feel like it is the right thing to do. What's more what's more more insane? 